Hey everybody, welcome back to the news. Let's jump right into it. It's not a very weak week for news. Pretty strong. Let's get into it. Okay, first up. Updates for Adventure Quest World in the current year? Really? They're still doing these. I actually thought they were going to stop until AQ Mobile came out, but I guess that's still pretty far off. So they're still updating Adventure Quest World's functionality. You can now see drop rates on items for quests. Pretty cool already a thing on aq light and personally i think it looks a lot better on aq light uh there's a few things that make it look a lot better i'll show you really quick okay so it looks like the percentages kind of broke how the aq light one works uh so the aq light one is the one in quotations there or in brackets uh and um yeah the ac tag was usually over the box but now it moved to the right because of this text got added here from the official aq uh update so that's why it looks kind of weird, but so it tells you if it's AC tagged, if it's a member, it has orange text and all that stuff. Also on EQ light, you can also see if there's a visual item and you click on it, you can see what it looks like. So you can see it's nothing, but you can, if it wasn't a per, like a actual sword or an armor or something, you'd be able to see what it looks like just by clicking on it. So you don't have to wiki for it. Uh, very useful, very helpful, very good features that EQ light has that still isn't in Adventure Quest Worlds. And they asked for other features we would like to see. The biggest one has to be a drop menu. So instead of the items just stacking in the middle of the screen, lagging the game more than it should and all that stuff, having it just in a box or even if it's a static box that's just stuck on the left or something, movable would be preferable, of course. Uh, having a box with the items that show up right here and you don't have to have like a third of your screen covered when you're farming would be preferable also. So things like that. Big changes for AQ that uh, actually help the players a lot. Hopefully they'll be added to the official game soon and they could definitely make the uh, percentages look nicer and add more to the list of quest items. So there we go, moving on to more news. So below it's, it looks like they are gonna be displaying item drops. So I think that's what it means by clicking on an item and it's showing you what the item will be from the quest. I think that's what that is. I don't think it's the drop menu, uh, but I would really like to see a drop menu. So yeah, enough of that, on to the next thing. So there will be a brand new cape. Now this cape is color custom to your base, trim, accessory, eye, and hair color. Uh, so you can see here that Alina's hair is uh, purple. So that's the bottom one is purple. Uh, blue eyes, so then it's blue. And then she probably has green, yellow, orange, and red on her customization. Actually, I don't know where all those colors come from. I think you only get three for armor. I'm not too sure where one of those colors is coming from, but it's, it's somewhere. So pretty cool. Uh, for a cape there. I think it's also related to Pride Month in some way. Uh, I see people on Twitter clamoring for that quite a bit uh, for AE. They want uh, yeah characters and stuff that are part of that group. So yeah, uh, also a animation for this armor that we saw from A ranks. I do like the animation on it. It's pretty good. Still, you know, my opinion on the helmet with the weird visor and all that, but uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, another look at uh, armor from A ranks that we've already seen before with a helmet with hair that is new there that will all be coming out this Friday. Okay, okay, a follow up from last week. So I think this has been in the news video probably a month in a row now. <laughs> I like this armor a lot. I have said that before. Really good. Now, we do have some more news. If you've read this already, uh, the red parts of this will be color custom. So all the red on it, color custom to accessory color, I would imagine on your armor so the white will stay white and you can't get a black version of it but you know we're still getting the armor and that's good now if you scroll down here uh it is confirmed that uh kitsune will be getting his own color custom version that's black uh that we showed last week in the news i'm pretty sure that was last week so he's getting a black version now i can see people being upset about this Personally, I'm a little not happy that it's happening. A little bit. I, I, but I completely see how AE sees this. So he commissions an armor from Lay. So he pays for the armor. He comes up with the idea, I would assume. He came up with the idea. Lay makes it. it Alina sees it, puts it in the game. Alina wants, and this armor will make them a lot of money. Don't think it won't. Um, so Alina knows that it's going to make a lot of money. So gives a personal item to the person who started the creation of it, uh, Kitsune. Makes sense a little bit. Uh, 
I can see players being mad about it though because it's a dark version and people love their edgy dark armors and yeah but personally I think the white version looks better and uh, yeah it just fits it more of the style of like the chill sort of style it's going for but uh, yeah he gets an edgy version for himself people can think of that what they want I'm pretty neutral on it to be honest Hopefully this doesn't lead to like custom like different shapes with wait like with the Zarelia armor that came out uh, last week I think that's her name uh, the Legion one hopefully like she doesn't get her own like armored up version of it or something or we only get the base version that would really suck if something like that was happening but when it's just a recolor I think that's that's okay I guess not preferable but it's okay and it would also be kind of hypocritical for me to be on the side where people shouldn't be getting custom items where I have a, a pink collab bug that a lot of people can't have and uh, also that other blade that was equipped there uh, the color custom one from uh, chat so yeah I it'd be kind of hypocritical to say other people can't have custom items also the helmet I'm wearing is something I suggested to the game so yeah okay moving on speaking of edgy well I was a while ago but uh, updated Ecto Franken set today so this is from uh, Adam Almost said Akari. Looks kind of like Hokari's style a little bit. Um, I like it. Twitter does not do a good job of uh, compression on their website. It looks very blurry for some reason, but I'm pretty sure that's just how Twitter makes it so the images don't take up a lot of data on their website for their servers. So yeah, pretty cool. And uh, can't wait to see more from this. Uh, Furrow with a little bit of a witch set here going on. Very short shorts there. I don't know if that's finished or not. I'm pretty sure it's all work in progress. And uh, I do like the face morph there from Furrow. Also, I think this is an update for the Shaman Slayer. I think we've seen this in previous news videos. I think I think he's posted previous art from this, but there's a little update on that. Okay, so I actually heard about this from Hikari in my chat on stream, uh, but now it's on Twitter. So this is a set. It's a moon sort of TLAPD set. Alina is all already like getting people to make talk like a pirate day stuff. So they're getting ready for that, don't worry, even though it's still like 12 weeks away, I think. 12, I think it's 12 weeks away, but they're already getting prepared for it. Because I think Talk Like a Pirate Day is one of their biggest earning days of the year, probably. Next to like uh, Nolgat's birthday, Deja's birthday, stuff like that. So they do prepare for it pretty early, and we'll be seeing a lot more Talk Like a Pirate Day stuff in the future. I like the cape. I hope those, uh, I hope those particles are animated on the uh, moon cape there on the bottom, or on the character too, on the top left. Uh, the armor, I don't like the shoulder thing, but uh, the color on it is great, and the shape is not terrible. But you know, the shoulder thing it kind of throws it off a little bit. A lot of talk, a lot of the uh, talk like a pirate day armors have weird shoulders, though I've noticed. Uh, hats are okay, and uh, weapons are fine, but kind of generic. It would be cool maybe if they had some particles or a moon or something on them to add some more style to them. So that is my opinion on that. Let's move on. Update, I think I showed the work in progress for this last week. Maybe I showed this, but there's also a female version with a sword here that I might not have shown. I probably showed this last week. I, I can't remember, and I can't be bothered to check, so we'll just show that really quick. Uh, also, a dress uh, Lay's been working on as a commission for this person on Twitter. So, pretty cool there. And, uh, yeah, we don't really see a lot of these big dresses. I think the last one we saw was Halloween a few years ago, like two or three years ago. So it's been a while since we had a big poofy dress like this. So I could see something like this being added if the theme was appropriate for the update. Bido. Look how Twitter, look, look how bad, I'm uploading this video to AP. Look how bad Twitter makes these videos. Like it's so terrible, but uh, hey, anime a dog helmet. We've been seeing this dog helmet uh, quite a bit. I don't know when it's gonna come out, if it will come out, but it's got animation on it now, so that's pretty neat. J6 with what looks like a raw or what kind of like a dog. I'm trying to think of a dog, like a bulldog, but a skeleton of like a giant bulldog or something like that. The face just reminds me of something like that, like an English bulldog or something. I don't know what that's for, but maybe part of this quest line that would involve this art. This art looks kind of crazy. There's a bunch of money and what looks like valuables strung about with a few like are those like teleporter pads or what are those on the stairway it's good perspective on the image i like that and uh, it looks like map art for a future event i would assume a recolored version of Hy hyperborean blues so here's what the original looked like uh i don't know if i've ever featured this artist before 
uh, Escanor Evil. So I think it looks really nice. I like the uh, cowboy stuff. It looks really classy cowboy. Big fan. Now this one, the colors are great on this. Shape, this shoe's a little weird. Uh, the armor is mostly pretty good shape-wise. I don't like the uh, when they make it look like kind of like plants a little bit. Not a big fan of that uh, style, but base, yeah, the colors are great. And it will be color custom. The blue eyes, white cloth trim, white cloth, uh, dark cloth is trim, and the dark cloth is also base. So it looks like it's near fully color custom on this armor. Very good there from Valentine. Also, not sure if I've ever featured this artist before. Like I, like always, links in the description if you guys want to go check out any of these guys out on Twitter. Uh, but uh, Omega posted this, and it's a Morgan version for Adventure Quest Worlds, which I really like seeing that kind of stuff where they take other IP and then turn into AQW art. Makes me happy. I love seeing stuff turn into AQ art. So that is that for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see y'all in the next one. We'll be streaming the event tomorrow with the summer gear and uh, start of a two-part quest line, I think, tomorrow. So I'll be doing that on this channel live tomorrow night around uh, 3 o'clock PST, 6 o'clock server time. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.